Okay, so for Asia Summit, this is still an old picture, but uh, we want to know your feedback. So Roland already mentioned you have some feedback, you have some improvements that you want to see, you have something that you think is great, and uh, we're here at the Lifelong Learning Institute. So there are a lot of Singaporeans who, of course, participate, and uh, we want to know, yeah, how can we improve um, in regards to lifelong learning as well? So there are a lot of ideas. Wow, Roland, where did you get that? Okay, awesome. So always have a spare, <laughs> always have a spare one. Good. So please uh, check this QR code. I will show it um, at the end again, and um, see if you want to leave some feedback online. Um, I think there was this idea that. Uh, people are entering a lucky draw and right afterwards if they fill in the feedback form they can possibly get a t-shirt right is that correct yes okay that's cool ah, okay I think that's important information for some people so if you fill in the feedback form and then at the end um, of the closing um, you receive the email you can go um, to the team and which team member will distribute the t-shirts huh? Roland Ah, uh, and they're downstairs? Yeah, okay, so you can go to them and check with them. If you have won, there's a high chance to win. Okay, so, yeah, who were the organizers? Is this here automatic, uh, this, this uh, slideshow, or how is it? Why is it always going forward? Okay, so, um, organizers, of course, the FOSS Asia community, FOSS Asia, FOSS Asia organization. But also the Lifelong Learning Institute. Um, it's um, the whole building. They supported the event. Um, they helped us to run it. Um, it's a long-term uh, partnership. So thank, thank you to them. We also had. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Applause. Thank you. Then uh, it was the first year that um, we had the cooperation with Open Euler and the Open Atom Foundation. Um, yeah. I would say also a big round of applause. Yeah. And, um, okay, good, and uh, yeah, we had um, our sponsors here, um, gold sponsors, elite sponsors, silver sponsors, um, from Oracle to Rundeck, only Office, Google, ExpressVPN, YDB, Grafana Labs, AngelHack, Mercury, thank you very much to you guys. <laughs> so, um, it's really great, and we had uh, all of them also at the um, uh, exhibition. Um, here are the numbers, yeah, and uh, I hope these numbers are more or less correct because I understand we are on different platforms, yeah, we have ticketing on different platforms, you know, we're in Singapore, so what happened is that the Lifelong Learning Institute also distributed some tickets, for example, through their platform, we have some, some numbers there from yesterday and so on, so these numbers um, are about the numbers that uh, we saw here with the on-site yeah. participation, um, from what we gathered, it's like 1,345 um, uh, people who have signed up for on-site. And uh, actually, um, a lot of them came, 901. Of course, like some of them will say, wow, we have the thousands of people like that we had in the past. But um, actually, I also got the feedback um, uh, that people say post-corona is it's quite uh, good. Yeah, so um, they saw a lot of activities, um, other events like uh, still trying to catch up or they're not happening. So um, I would say... Um, First Asia is back. And uh, yeah, so what we see as well is the um, participation online, but the streams are still going. We don't know what are the numbers yet, um, but we have uh, uh, partnerships also already um, in the last uh, few years with um, Kai Yuan for, for example, in uh, China and uh, also with uh, Segment Fold. So um, that actually increased our outreach a lot. Like um, last year, we saw around uh, five to 6,000 people. Um, it's always the question how you count, right? You at ExpressVPN, you also know, is like always a unique viewer or they change the IP address and so on, so, but you get an indication. So, and uh, what we also saw this year is that we had a lot of people from different countries uh, coming, uh, like from Korea. Uh, of course, we always have our community from uh, Vietnam, um, but we also had uh, the Chinese and so on. I mean, everyone who really who came said, "Wow, this is really international." Yeah, and uh, so that was cool. And uh, I actually like Kaiyuan. Sure, the Chinese people are still here. Yeah, I, I see. Ah, okay, some arms going up. Yeah, cool. 
Yeah, but you're also in based in Shenzhen, right? Takasu. So yeah, of course, Japanese, everyone. I'm sorry, I, I will not like mention everyone, but like feel all really hugged and thank you very much that you were here. I think a big round of applause for everyone who participated. International, okay, international, okay, exactly right. Chinese is also an international language, of course. So, uh, Jin, yeah, yes, yeah, okay. I also understand a few words, not so many like you. Cool, and uh, yeah, we have a slide here actually off segment fold that is the stream uh, from China that uh, um, Leslie sent us. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, Takasu, you can read in Chinese, we can have. Afterwards, you can read it for us, uh, what's going on there. Okay, thank you. And uh, yeah, team members. So um, uh, we don't have the photos of all the team members, but thank you very much. So, yes, uh, yeah. so, so I thought that it would be more interesting to have the team members uh, sitting here so you can at least uh, see who we are. I understand that you are already very tired after a very long day, but my, uh, like our team members, they are too shy to, to sit over here. We still have one seat empty. Yeah. <laughs> so one seat empty symbolizing the shine people and also the people who can't be here because they are uh, actually supporting the event uh, yeah. uh, elsewhere. Yeah, so for instance, um, as we can see, so I got this question a lot. Uh, this is uh, in the name false Asia. Doesn't, it doesn't mean that only Asian people can participate. Uh, yes, exactly. So I got it every time when I go to, uh, to, to other international conference. And you can see here, we are not only Asian. We have a lot of uh, people from, from Europe and, uh, of course, Europe everywhere. Uh, we have um, one team member that Mario said he, uh, he couldn't make it. Um, Leslie Wong from, uh, from China, he's doing the streaming for us over there. Yeah. Uh, and of course, we have many more uh, team members. Um, uh, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm very uh, sorry we wanted to put the pictures of everyone, but uh, that is the, we did this like last minute, you know. There's so many things going on at the moment. So, um, yeah. So, uh, Kiwi, uh, Mr. Gee is here. Uh, this is the chair for you, Mr. Gee. Where are you? Yeah, somebody switched off the light, so we can't see anymore. Mr. Gee, please switch on the light again. I know you are shy. Yeah, but yes, thank you very much also to Mr. Gee, who built, uh, bring in, for example, the um, building blocks community. Also, they did the uh, workshops in the evening, so that was great too. Yes, and our volunteers, of course, some of them are sitting here in the audience. Thank you very much for your support. Um, uh, so, so I would just want to mention here, uh, we have uh, quite a number of local people. We have also someone traveling all the way from New Zealand, William, to come here to volunteer for the Force Asia Summit. Thank you very much for that. And we, we also have like... Um, uh, our speaker, I did not mention here because they are on the speaker side, the good thing about being in uh, the post community, everyone can just uh, like contribute, right? So I, I remember in the past, so, uh, like um, people come to the conference, even though they are speaker, they're willing to walk around and just hang on the poster and have us with many um, the small uh, tasks to make the event happen. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And um, what should I say? Um, we want to take a moment to um, to to think about um, our friend and, and team member. I, I could not attend one of the talks today, but I heard that someone, uh, one of the speaker, um, dedicated to talk for Arif. Um, Arif actually never got a chance to travel abroad in his whole life, so he passed away at the age of 26. <laughs> I don't know what was to say, but um, the whole um, event uh, year system would mostly contributed by by Arif, and uh, I don't know many people here um, also know him. Um, yeah, Mario. Um, yes. So uh, I know not only us. I also saw 
many posts in the public journal from other communities. They they also lost um, members in their community over the past two years. Um, we are very sorry for that, and um, yeah, so. Um, we, we just want to, to take a moment to think of um, these people that contribute to, to the community. Their work will be always um, remembered. A few more statistics. Yes, so um, <laughs> without you, like uh, we will not have the false Asia summit. We have altogether 157 speakers from 22 countries. So this number a little bit lower than previous year before COVID. I think we always got a statistic of over 40 different countries. So this year we have uh, 22. And surprisingly, the, the top country is Singapore. Not really surprisingly because people cannot travel anymore. Uh, <laughs> Surprisingly, because compared to the previous fourth Asia, um, it's a little bit different. And then the next, uh, the next country is um, India, China, Germany, Japan, Vietnam, USA, South Korea, Sri Lanka, and Malaysia. So this is the top five countries uh, of our speakers. Top top ten, sorry, <laughs> top ten. Uh, our uh, participants come from fifty four countries, and this is the map showing. Um, where are they coming from? Yeah. Please, please move, move, move next to the next slide. <laughs> So I, I have to say this is a approximation because like, uh, uh, for example, some people, they say, I live in Japan. So then in the form, what did they fill, fill in? I lived like 14 years in Japan. And then like, am I from Austria? Am I from Japan? Or like, you know, I lived in another country. So um, yeah, it's never. So I, I think I need to ask Norbert, our mathematician, to explain this uh, sign map to us. So I did it with a software. I, I, didn't, I did not do, I did not paint it manually. No. So I use a software to put in the number and this is what they show me. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. oh, this is like that. Okay. So, so actually, if you put into any, um, uh, uh, like, uh, with spreadsheet or something, and you say, like, you only have the scale of zero to one, and, like, anyone, if it's 100 or one, or will just show up in one color. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, so software. So we are in an international world, right? Whatever Mac in the tech community, Mac from people from around the world. So not really, even projects like Open Eula, they have contributors everywhere. So not just Chinese people. So we cannot say that, oh, this is a software made from a particular country or anything like this. Any software made from people everywhere. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Well, do you want to gather some feedback? And, and, and it seems like somebody wants you to talk. Uh, uh, my microphone has been handed to me. Okay, so where were we? We had gotten as far as the diversity of talks. Uh, could we please have some more longer ones in the future? Yes, perhaps we'll do that. What else? What else would people like to see improved? Yeah. <laughs> 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 or, or the stats, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so we have quite a number of Indian speakers here, actually, and also in Telsepita. Were you not here yesterday and the day uh, before? <laughs> the, the crack was about the, the the slide that showed we had zero Indian participants. No, 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 actually not true, because sense. the lie is so from 1 to 1,000. So it means the, the lighter color, the more people streaming in form. Yeah? The problem yeah. is the left and the right. Yeah, exactly. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Better visualization next time. <laughs> <laughs> next. Anyone else? So, uh, 
Lunar New Year's are a problem for scheduling, right? But it just happened to be this is Thai New Year. This is Song Khan this weekend, <laughs> and which is impossible not to get with all the conflicts, right? But yeah. uh, I had six staff that I would have been able to bring if not for that. So hopefully next year it'll it'll not correspond. But yes, I mean, God, that's a hard yeah, problem, you, you, right? You, scheduling you, is a tough problem. You, we have a problem, no, no matter what we pick. There's a there's a conflict. So actually, we were thinking about it, but the venue wasn't available on another weekend, so close by. So yeah. Hi, um, I'd like to see a better application to view the schedule. I was very um, like confused with what's happening where, and maybe if we could have a better application, given that we have so many beautiful, um, you know. I don't know, we have the intelligence to be able to harness something collectively where we could add it to our schedule. I just felt like the schedule was a bit clunky for me through the website to access the different aspects. Um, yeah, so that would have been, it could have been a better experience and I would have been able to keep schedule. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. I think the uh, performance of the schedule is a bit slow and there's also a couple of bugs with uh, sessions appearing repeatedly and so on. So, uh, not that we're making anyone's problem, but we very much welcome uh, assistance on that if anyone wishes to volunteer to help. Um, so, regarding the, the application, um, it's, it's actually been a challenge without Arif to, to maintain event J. Um, uh, Norbert knows that we've been actually fighting to keep it up. Um, so, just uh, so you guys know, it's uh, open source and we welcome New developers <laughs> to help us maintain it. <laughs> so, so can, yeah. can we expose uh, it? We API? have that actually. Uh, thank you for the suggestion, but like the backend has that app API, and uh, in the past people did that. Yeah. So, for example, there's the there's some open source Android apps or so on. They can do it. It's just like somebody has to do it before the conference when everyone's super busy. But uh, honestly, we had a meeting with some people here from India and Sri Lanka, and uh, they uh, um, are very much much interested to take it up and like restart it. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Excellent. Anybody else? Ha! Who's coming next year? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Yes. <laughs> uh, any other highlights for anyone? Anything else that anyone that things that people particularly enjoyed? Hardware track was amazing. <laughs> yes, you guys don't realize that you have like, like there's like three or four of the top people on planet Earth are were, were doing the hardware track. It's, that's just you can't get that anywhere. It's just I need quiet. To I need to relay that that message to to Bunny Huang because yeah. yesterday he, yeah. So yesterday he, he is he here? Uh, not the moment, no. Yeah. So yesterday he told me that uh, it seemed that he's out of place. Nobody really care about his topic. I'm not sure sure if he should come here and talk about what he's doing. <laughs> Can we please put him in the hardware track next time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much for the feedback. Yeah, I, I let him know. So I think the highlight in terms of social events is China street food because Chinatown street food because you have so many different things to taste. We should do it at a place where the restaurants are opening when we get there and not closing. <laughs> Sorry about that. A place a place and a time, more importantly. I think we, we need to check that one more carefully okay, next time. Sounds so positive. Yeah, so even uh, it sounds like complimentary sounds so positive, you know. Yeah, it's it's fair enough. I mean, the the mm -hmm. times have been a bit have changed a little since COVID, and uh, we just happened to turn up after half the places already closed. And that's given that it's Singapore's biggest, is one of Asia's biggest hawker centers. Um, <laughs> the, the fact that half of it was closed when we turned up was probably not optimal. But yeah, I think that's a that's a good one. Anything else? Dum, dum, dum. No? Ah. I, I really loved the opportunity to, you know, my company sent here to, to attend talks relevant to my, to my role. And I really love that you guys don't take attendance because what I actually did was go to all the talks I wanted to go to 
stuff that's completely unrelated. Like I don't do anything with robotics, but I love the robotics talks. And uh, nobody here will tell my company. <laughs> we just make sure your company doesn't watch the wrap up session. <laughs> Yeah, the, the taking of attendance is interesting. Uh, I, I'm glad we don't do it. I don't think we have any plan to do it. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, things we, behind you? Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to uh, thank you that you brought me to one of the beautiful places of the earth. So I enjoyed the place, Singapore, very, very much. We talked a lot about inclusive, inclusiveness of uh, Singapore. You explained me some background from the uh, history of uh, Singapore and so enjoyed it very much. Thank you. Glad you know it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. No, I, I really like the, uh, where the students, are there any students here right now? Can you put up your hand? Okay. Any more? Singapore students? ITE? Okay, there's one here. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I saw the students still like doing stuff in the exhibition hall while everyone's wrapping up. So, so yeah. yesterday evening when they gave the workshop and I told them that Harish is in the audience, he gave me particularly listen to your presentation and they were so nervous. I thought, why, why Harish is? <laughs> <laughs> Others? Things we got. So it's my first time to attend this uh, conference. And um, actually, for me, it inspired me to be a volunteer for next year. The, the camaraderie of the team is really great. And you know, guys, they are just volunteers. They're not actually paid. They're not making anything. But you know, it's very nice to see people just contribute anything. And they welcome anything as well. And they're, it's, it's, it's very heartwarming to see that this, uh, you know, goes a long way. And hopefully next year we can get more participants. Congrats to all of us. Thank you so much. We, we very much operate as a, 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 consciously as a sort of community group. So yeah, it's great, glad you saw it. Others? Only one person's talked about the video. That's excellent. Obviously, I'm the only person who's really annoyed about it. <laughs> Good. Other things we can improve, other things people particularly enjoyed. This might be last call. Going once. Going twice. Do it twice again. I think we might remain at once a year. <laughs> what we are doing, or trying to do a little bit of. Please, please, please travel to others in the region. There are others happening. Uh, but there's also movement to do slightly more. Uh, um, yeah, no, this is just a random comment. Uh, who has go to went? Who who went to the social event last night? Cool, cool. Uh, did you did you guys hear the mix? Yes. The DJ mix, right? That was good. I think uh, next year maybe we need uh, smoke machines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We have DJ Dan over there. <laughs> smoke machines. <laughs> Say again? Hey, we're going to have a space to make a smoke scene, maybe some lasers. <laughs> Sharks. Um, <laughs> just take the lid off Kiwi's machine. <laughs> we have lasers also, holes in the building, but you know, <laughs> all, all good. Um, there's an, an intention to do some meetups in Singapore during the year, as Cross Asia, or is that. Uh, no? Okay. All right. yeah. Uh, um, together with the FOSS uh, Singapore group, we try to do one every uh, quarter a meet up here. Okay. So, uh, not quite the full summit. Much, much smaller than the summit. <laughs> Though we are trying to do it a, a few times a year. All right, I think that's pretty much uh, canvassed it thoroughly. Thank you, everyone. And uh, for those who'd like to, please join us at Hackerspace uh, later on for chat, drinks, and at some point, uh, also street food eating. <laughs> That's it. We're done. Thank you.